code spaces are anchored around the repository. Here we're using the ASP.NET Core sample web application called eShop on Web. With a code space, you can select the compute that you want specific to the scale and size of the application you're building. So you can select lower compute to save costs for smaller workloads and higher compute for larger workloads to accelerate your development. Development of code space is familiar and consistent with the inner loop of development on a local environment. Here we're building the application to get started and see this simple application running inside of a code space. While the UI is rendering locally for Visual Studio, all the heavy lifting is being done inside of the code space. For example, the build, debug, and running of this application is all executing in the remote environment. So no local resources are being consumed for those heavy lifting operations. Code spaces include all the dependencies for modern workloads like ASP.NET Core web application development, .NET Core, CMake, and C++ console applications. Features that developers use day to day are available inside of a code space. Here we're navigating the source code to find a file in order to be able to set a breakpoint. Once we hit our breakpoint, we can step through our source code, inspect variables, and navigate the call stack. Code spaces allow you to not only scale vertically for more compute, but also horizontally to use more resources as you parallelize your work. Here in the background, I have several other instances of Visual Studio running connected to other code spaces. The Orchard Core sample here is a 160 project application, and here the OpenCV CMake application has over 1,500 projects in it. Visual Studio here is building those solutions in parallel while I'm debugging the eShop on Web application all at the same time. Switching over to Task Manager, we can see that the CPU on the local machine is staying fairly steady, with most of the resources you see here being consumed in order to record this video rather than actually running all of the local instances of Visual Studio.